Service Teardown HP 280 G5 Micro Tower PC How to replace the access panel? Removal Remove the 10mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the access panel to the chassis. Grasp the handle on the rear edge of the access panel and slide the access panel towards the rear of the chassis to release the retention tabs. Lift the access panel straight up and off of the chassis and remove. Replacement Align the retention tabs on the access panel with the cutouts in the chassis and lower the access panel onto the chassis. Slide the access panel towards the front of the chassis until it is securely seated and flush with the front bezel. Replace the 10mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the access panel to the chassis. How to replace the memory modules? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal Push down and out on the memory slot latches to release the memory module. Slide the memory module up and out of the memory slot and remove. Replacement Important! When installing the memory module, be sure to align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot in the motherboard. Do not install the memory at an angle or in a sloping direction. It must be inserted straight into the connector. Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the motherboard and insert the memory module. Press down on the memory module until the memory slot latches lock and the memory module is fully seated. How to replace the expansion card? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal Important if necessary, disconnect any cables from the expansion card. Remove the 10mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the expansion card retention bracket to the chassis. Rotate the expansion card retention bracket until it is fully open. If you are removing a graphics card, release the graphics card from the locking tab on the slot. Carefully slide the expansion card straight up and out of the slot on the motherboard and remove it from the chassis. Important! If you are not replacing the expansion card with another card, cover the open slot in the chassis with a metal slot cover. Replacement Align the expansion card with the slot on the motherboard and insert the expansion card until it is fully seated. If you are replacing a graphics card, ensure the locking tab on the slot is fully in position in the notch on the graphics card. Rotate the expansion card retention bracket until it clicks closed. Replace the 10mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the expansion card retention bracket to the chassis. Important. If necessary, connect any cables into the expansion card. How to replace the optical drive? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the power and data cables from the optical drive. Press the green release tab on the back of the optical drive and slide the optical drive toward the front of the unit. Slide the optical drive out of the optical drive bay and remove. Replacement. Slide the optical drive into the optical drive bay until it is flush with the front bezel and the green release tab clicks. Connect the data and power cables to the optical drive. How to replace the front bezel? Before you begin, remove the access panel and optical drive. Removal. Release the three retention clips that secure the top edge of the front bezel to the chassis. At an angle, slide the tabs on the bottom edge of the front bezel out of the cutouts in the chassis. Remove the front bezel. Replacement Tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the front bezel into the cutouts in the chassis. Press in on the top edge of the front bezel to snap the retention clips into place. How to replace the drive cage bracket? Removal 
Remove the 7mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the drive cage bracket to the drive cage. Lift the drive cage bracket at an angle. Slide the tabs on the bottom edge of the drive cage bracket out of the cutouts in the chassis. Remove the drive cage bracket. Replacement. Tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the drive cage bracket into the cutouts in the chassis and lower it onto the chassis. Replace the 7mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the drive cage bracket to the drive cage. How to replace the hard disk drive. Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, and drive cage bracket. Removal. Disconnect the power and data cables from the hard disk drive. While supporting the hard disk drive, remove the four 7mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the hard disk drive to the chassis. Remove the hard disk drive. Replacement. Align the mounting screw holes in the hard disk drive with the holes in the chassis. Replace the four 7mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the hard disk drive to the chassis. Connect the data and power cables to the hard disk drive. How to replace the drive cage. Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, drive cage bracket, and any drives installed into the drive cage. Removal. Remove the 9mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the drive cage to the chassis. Lift the drive cage and at an angle, Slide the tabs on the top edge of the drive cage bracket out of the cutouts in the chassis. Remove the drive cage. Replacement. Tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the drive cage bracket into the cutouts in the chassis and lower it onto the chassis. Replace the 9mm T15 Torx head screw that secures the drive cage to the chassis. How to replace the power supply. Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, drive cage bracket, and drive cage. Removal. Disconnect all power supply cables from the motherboard. Remove the power supply cables from the retention clips on the chassis. Remove the three 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the power supply to the chassis. Press the retention tab down and slide the power supply forward to release it from the retention clip on the chassis. Remove the power supply from the chassis. Replacement. Align the power supply with the retention clip on the chassis and lower it into place. Slide the power supply back until the retention tab clicks into place. Route the power supply cables through the routing clips on the chassis. Replace the three 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the power supply to the chassis. Connect all power supply cables to the motherboard. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, drive cage bracket, and drive cage. Removal. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures a solid state drive to the motherboard and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Replacement. Align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the solid state drive into its slot on the motherboard. Replace the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, drive cage bracket, and drive cage. Removal. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the motherboard and allow it to raise to the spring tension position.
Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the motherboard. Replace the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the motherboard. Carefully reconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. How to replace the wireless antennas? Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, drive cage bracket, drive cage, and wireless LAN module. Removal. Guide the wireless LAN antenna cables through the cutout in the chassis. Remove the wireless LAN antenna cables from the retention tabs on the chassis. Remove the two 7mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the wireless LAN antenna transceivers to the chassis. Remove the wireless LAN antennas. Replacement. Place the wireless LAN antenna transceivers into position on the chassis and replace the two 7mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the wireless LAN antenna transceivers to the chassis. Route the wireless LAN antenna cables through the retention tabs on the chassis. Guide the wireless LAN antenna cables through the cutouts in the chassis. How to replace the system fan? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the fan cable from the connector on the motherboard. While supporting the fan, remove the three 12mm P2 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the chassis. Lift and remove the fan. Replacement. Position the fan against the chassis and align the screw holes. While supporting the fan, replace the three 12mm P2 Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the chassis. Connect the fan cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to restore CMOS to factory settings? Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, drive cage bracket, and drive cage. Steps. Carefully release the CMOS battery from the socket retention clips that secure it on the motherboard and remove. Wait 30 seconds. Carefully secure the CMOS battery under the socket retention clips on the motherboard. CMOS factory settings are now reset. Important! You will now need to enter system BIOS and reset the clock in BIOS after this procedure. How to replace the heatsink? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the CPU fan from the connector on the motherboard. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following four screws. Loosen the four captive T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Lift the heatsink straight up and off of the processor and remove it from the chassis. Replacement. Using an alcohol swab, carefully remove the thermal grease from the heatsink and processor. According to the individual specifications for your particular processor, apply new thermal grease to the processor. Align the screw holes on the heatsink with the standoffs on the motherboard and lower the heatsink into position over the processor. Tighten the four T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Connect the CPU fan to the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the CPU, Intel. Before you begin, remove the access panel, 2.5 inch storage drive assembly, CPU fan, and CPU heatsink. Removal. Press down to release the CPU load lever from its retention tab and pull it back. Lift the load plate off the socket. Important! Identify the pin 1 triangle on the socket and CPU prior to removing the CPU. Important! When handling the CPU, do not touch the CPU contacts. Carefully lift the CPU straight up and out of the socket. Thank you.
replacement. Align the pin 1 triangle on the CPU with the pin 1 triangle on the socket. Carefully lower the CPU into position in the socket. Swing the load plate down. Lock the load lever under its retaining tab to secure the CPU in place. How to replace the CPU, AMD. Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan duct, and heat sink. Removal. Release the processor load lever from its retention tab and pull it back to release the processor. Important. Identify the pin 1 triangle on the socket and processor prior to removing the processor. Important. When handling the processor, do not touch the processor contacts. Carefully lift the processor straight up and out of the socket. Replacement. Align the pin 1 triangle on the processor with the pin 1 triangle on the socket. Carefully lower the processor into position in the socket. Carefully swing the load plate down and lock the load lever under its retaining tab to secure the processor in place. How to replace the motherboard. Before you begin, remove the access panel, expansion card, front bezel, drive cage bracket, hard disk drive, drive cage, solid state drive, wireless LAN module, system fan, heat sink, and CPU. Removal. Important, make careful note of the location of all cables connected to the motherboard for later replacement. Disconnect the power supply cables from the connectors on the motherboard. Remove the power supply cables from the retention clips on the chassis. Remove the 7 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. Carefully lift up on the front edge of the motherboard to release it from the retention tabs and slide the motherboard forward to remove the external connectors out of the cutouts in the chassis. Lift the rear edge of the motherboard and carefully guide the front edge out of the cutouts in the chassis. Remove the motherboard. Replacement. At an angle, tow the front edge of the motherboard into the cutouts in the front panel of the chassis and slide the external connectors on the rear edge of the motherboard into the cutouts in the rear panel of the chassis. Align the screw holes in the motherboard with the screw holes in the chassis and press down on the upper edge of the motherboard to secure it in the retention clips. Replace the 7 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. Route the power supply cables through the routing clips on the chassis. Connect the power supply cables into the connectors on the motherboard. Important! After motherboard replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the computer, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings.